Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. Today we're on Sebago Lake. We're actually heading out to Sebago Lake. We're going to do some trolling for fall lake trout here. There's no closed season for lake trout here on the lake. There is for salmon, so if I catch a salmon, I have to release it. And it's had to be artificial lures only. And we're going to try to, you know, either troll for some lakers with the aqua view. If they're not biting on the trolling bite, we're going to get them with the jig bite or, you know, however I can get them. So stay tuned. Here we go. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. All I have to do is start a chase. Not very big, whatever it is. It's definitely like trout, but. Hasn't burped yet. Come on, burp. Leader. Oh, he's, he's a nice. There he goes. He burped. Oh. Oh, he's getting hooked to good. Uh, there we go. First toga of the day, guys. Jeez. What a fatty. What a fatty. No idea how big that is, but he's gonna go right back down in like two seconds here. There he goes. A missile. Yes! First one of the day. All I have to do is switch over to a jig. Again, that was that uh, epoxy, hoagie epoxy bone colored spoon that I bought, or a vertical jig basically, or casting epoxy jig that I bought a couple years ago for uh, albacore. Works great. We're gonna throw it back in there and get it back down there. Got another one hot on me, guys. Another one. I have one on right now. Texting the guy that's supposed to be uh, with me tomorrow. I'm taking my time with these lake trout so they can burp on the way up here. Drag is set good. They're just flopping and rolling and stuff down there. Nah, he's not very big. Pretty fish though. There 
There he goes. Too slippery, too small to handle, guys. It's all right, now I gotta get a different net. Oh, that's a big one. Or I snagged him. Get another one on. It's important to let these fish burp on the way up here. I got 10 pound uh, floral on and 15 pound braid. And to let the rod wrist on this part of your arm here, because you will get tired. Got some serious freaking teeth on this guy. My pliers, somewhere else, of course. There's a, uh, a skinny one right there. That's right, it's going right back. Pliers are now close. Got another one. Ooh, I don't like how that feels at all. And he's off. I knew that was going to happen. Get the frickin' pressure right to him this time. Get in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net. Uh, been a while. Another nice one. Super bright white fins. Super bright white fins. Yeah. <laughs> Cold. I got fish rising behind me, guys. On the surface, I have a very heavy lake trout on right now. Dude, I can't seem to move. My turn. Putting a lot of pressure on this rod, guys. Big burps on the screen. You guys can see that. Lots of noise. He might take another run. See deep color down there.
big lick jaw guys. <laughs> what a fatty. What a fatty. I got a guy kind of cruising past me here. We're gonna just wait a second. I mean, he's kind of already seen me. Decent fish. There's another one down there that just came up and sniffed it. Decent one, guys. Biggest one of the day by far. By far. Let's get a measurement on this guy. 24 inch, but what an absolute. What an absolute beast. It's gonna go right back in right now. Ugh. That was sweet. Biggest one of the day, just switched to my lighter sensitive rod. Which is probably a good thing because the head shakes were pretty, pretty like low and slow and that's like they can really throw the hook when they do that. This is a tiny hook. Two of them down there, come on. There we go. Yes. One finally. Let's just get that out of the way there. No, 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 no. This might be a bigger one than last time. Don't know yet. Well, it's pretty good size. Looks pretty good. Nice fish, guys. Oh, now that I'm all wet. Oh, another nice one, guys. Another Sebago beauty. Um, I have no idea how long that is. Twenty-five inch, your biggest one of the year so far. Back in the water he goes. Oh, that is a lot of fun. That was a nice 25 incher. I got a fish jumping in front of me, guys. Kind of slow roll this back here. I think my boat's starting to stink, guys. It's not good. Got him. Whatever it is. Hoping it's not a bass. Oh. <sighs> that was disheartening. Guys, that just got my heart absolutely racing. Racing right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up some boat mess here. A little bit. All right, we got a little bit of lull in the bite here, so let's make some noise.
Tutti pies. Put the frickin' pressure right to him. I don't know how well he's hooked. But he's coming in the boat. Hoping. It's been a while since I caught one, so... Could be a bigger one, I'm not sure yet. Pretty heavy. Another beauty. Another beautiful fish, guys. These are just awesome. <clears throat> Another one, guys. Not very big. It's a nice fat one. Guys, you can't. You can't beat this. I mean, you can't. Like, just another absolute fatty. I mean, just look at this fish, guys. Just look at this fish. All right, one of these guys has to bite. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. Feels like a bigger fish. It's hard to tell since they're so deep. Run if he wants to. Switched up to a tube real quick. Uh, not a monster. Another absolute fatty. Look at that fish, guys. All right, doesn't get any better than today, guys. Biggest one was 25. I have no idea how many I caught, um, but I caught a bunch. All on two, two lures, which I can show here in a minute. Basically that hoagie spoon, epoxy jig basically, and a white tube. So super fun, just digging all day long. The trolling bite didn't work. I think it's, it needs to be a little bit windier uh, to have that trolling bite work because it's like glass today. So I'm actually gonna pick up and go trout fishing right now like normal trout fishing. <laughs> 